Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Um, my little one, Levi, is sleeping in the other room, so I'm kind of trying to be quiet. And um, mostly I just wanted to come on and say hello. Um, and I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on in the news with, uh, with everything that's converging. And <sighs> so many people are speculating about you know, a Pentecost rapture, and um, there's just, uh, there's so much to be hopeful for, and so much to look forward to. Um, we just need to be ready for anything at this point. Um, it's very, very, very exciting, you know, that Bible prophecy is converging as never before. I don't know. It's just, it's kind of mind blowing, mind boggling to say the least. So I have to work later. So I'm kind of just getting ready while my little one is, is sleeping. And then we're going to go to grandma's house and I'll drop him off. And then I'm going to go to work. And then, um, tonight I think I'm going to make pizza. Very good. Yeah, my favorite thing to eat. Oh my gosh, I love pizza. Uh, so, I also thought, you know, I could share my testimony with you because, I don't know, it's when you're, when you're out searching for truth, testimony videos are a great source of um, direction. So, all right, I was raised, you know, I really was not brought to church by my parents. My dad is a believer. My mom is a believer, but, you know, they weren't, you know, active in church. And so, unfortunately, I didn't have a very good base of the Bible. There were a couple of years while I was growing up that my parents did put me in private school, so I did get some but not enough. Um, that's one thing, you know, if I could redo my childhood, I would, I would want more of a like solid foundation in scripture. I, I feel like by this point in my life, I feel like I should know more about the Bible than I do, but you know, we can't change the past. So, and it's not like I blame my parents, you know, cause we're, you know, as parents, we're all trying to do the best that we can, but that's something that as a parent myself, I'm trying to do for my children is give them a good basis in scripture and in um, the Lord. Because unfortunately, a lot of parents now will say something like, well, I want my kids to grow up and decide for themselves what they believe. And that's, you don't want to throw them to the wolves like that because uh, Satan will eat that up. I mean, you want to show your kids truth and present it as such, because what if, because they don't have any direction, what if they get deceived? So, um, our kids look up to us. Um, I mean, honestly, when they're little, like they kind of idolize us and eventually that goes away. And so while they're little and impressionable, um, they need to be taught truth. So that was a little aside. <laughs> So anyways, I, um, my grandma white who recently passed away, she was one of the few that really talked, um, with me, you know, as she had opportunities about the Bible and, and things like that, because at school, a lot of the kids at school were talking about Wicca and witchcraft and all kinds of crazy stuff was going around. Um, and when I would talk to her about things, she would set me straight. I mean, big time, very firmly too. And you know what? I appreciate that now. So thank you, Grandma White. <laughs> She's in heaven now waiting for me. And um, so don't be afraid, you know, to share truth with your children. So, you know, it wasn't until I was really in high school, even though I think the Lord worked in my life as a young child, I definitely felt the presence of God and I would ask very deep questions you know, like, why are we here? And, you know, what is the meaning of all this? Like, 
all those questions were coming into my mind at very, very, very young. But then in high school, um, I lived in this apartment complex with my mom. My mom and my dad were divorced by this time. And the people underneath in the apartment underneath my mom, it was this like little old lady. And she invited me to come over to her house and study the Bible. And it ended up being like a debate about the validity and credibility of the Bible. And this woman like defended the faith. And then Christmas time rolls around and they did in the playground, which was literally right outside my window. They had this, the whole church, her whole church showed up and did a play. And that is like the moment I went, I heard it out my window, the play going on on the playground. So I went outside, they had all these seats set up. They had a stage set up. They like, they did the nativity scene right there. And I came to Christ and I have goosebumps now. Like it was a very strong moment for me. And I just have this feeling like I don't know what the inner workings and the behind the scenes stuff that that happened for this woman to make this happen. But I think that that like the Lord went that far to make sure that I got saved. Um, so and he'd been talking to me my whole life, but that was like the moment but I didn't get baptized until after 2010. So, you know, I had like full immersion baptism and that was a really amazing experience. And then in 2015, um, it was in the summer, either June or July, I, I finally realized he showed me that we were in the end times, the end of the end of days. So, so it's been about four years 2015, 2016, 2017. Yeah, we're, we're almost at, you know, four years of knowing what time it is. And, um, I mean, there's so many stories and, you know, little asides I could tell you about times when I would like kind of backslide and, but ever since my baptism, he's been front and center. Like, even though I'm you know, not sinless, you know, he's working on me in, you know, clearing out and showing me and revealing to me areas where I can improve. And it happens slowly for me. It's like, once I think I get, you know, success in one area, he shows me another one and he starts to work on me. And, um, that's just how he works. I think that that's God's mercy because if he were to try to like clean us up, all at once it would kill us I mean it really would but you know he has taught me the value of repentance from sin you know to really turn away from our sin and to want to improve and um, to be to be better because we it, it's kind of like as little children how you know, we want to impress our parents and it's the same thing. I really want God to be pleased with me when I see him face to face. When I see Jesus, I want him to be happy with me. And, um, it's really important that we have, I think the right attitude there, um, that we can't do it on our own. We really do have to have a savior to really make true and you know real lasting changes so because without him I mean there there's nothing we can really do of our own strength everything that we are and everything that we have is because of him he formed us in our mother's womb he knew us before then he knows the exact number of hairs I have on my head and I don't even know that he knows more about me than I know about me. He knows more about you than you know about you. So I think that that is really the attitude that we need to have, that he understands us. Um, he understands what has led up to making you who you are today, and he's merciful. So if God is also powerful to forgive you, we have to also be willing to forgive ourselves and to really move past and move on from some of the things that are in the past. Um, because we, we can run the risk of elevating ourselves to God's status if, if God can forgive us, but we can't forgive ourselves. Like, 
how can God do that? If God says that you're forgiven, then you're forgiven. Ask him for that. So, and move forward and live as a new creature in Christ. So, so I'm going to pray and then I'm going to cut it short. It's already a 10 minute video. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for everything today. Thank you for your love, your mercy, your grace. Thank you for, spur of the moment, putting it on my heart to make this testimony video. Even though it's not the whole story, it's, it's the bare bones basics of how I got to where I am right this very moment. I know that we have such a short time left and I would just ask that you make these short few moments matter that you would bring into the kingdom those that are watching that are in the valley of decision that they would say this prayer that they need a savior and they accept the work that you did on the cross as finished work in Christ and they are forgiven and that your shed blood has made atonement for their sins now and forever and that they would go in the rapture <sighs> we can't wait for that blessed hope to heavenly father in your name Yeshua HaMashiach we pray Amen and Maranatha. Well, I hope you have a lovely, lovely Saturday in Yeshua. And uh, I love you all. Until next time.